Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grand Finals of New South Wales Medal Valorant 2021 Season 1. And this is the one. It is going to be absolutely amazing between two gigantic teams that actually has made it all the way to the end, which is going to be Bosley Park versus St. John's Park. Now, obviously, there was a little bit of controversy before because we did run into a little bit of a player substitute, which obviously resulted in the DQ. But nevertheless, make sure to prepare yourself in the future if you are going to get one of those amazing squads to come all the way to the Grand Finals. And obviously, this is a massive tournament. We now have the sponsors coming in to support everything that we're doing at Meta HSC. And they are obviously going to be Torres University Australia, Optus, and of course MSI. So if you're into gaming and esports, make sure to learn more about the game design, game programming, 3D design and animation, and graphic and communication design courses. So go and you roll yourself, guys. Welcome back. It is absolutely amazing. And of course, as promised today, the one and only has that is slim has decided to come back with me and we are here again. Has how do you feel? Amp, I'm feeling absolutely fantastic, to be honest. It's a, it's a lovely day to be indoors, away from the sunshine. Don't need any of that. I'm watching a bit of Valorant uh, between two of the top schools of the New South Wales region, of course. Uh, we did think we were going to have another team, but, uh, you know, they made a little mistake with a substitution. <laughs> naughty, naughty, can't be doing that. But uh, that's a learning experience for them. I'm sure that's not going to happen anytime in the future. But Bosley Park and St. John's, they are our two final teams as we are getting ready to start our first map, which will be on Ascent. We can also go through the sort of rest of the small bits that we've got here. So we're game one ascent. We're going to have the BP boys over on the defense side. St. John's starting on attack. And then Icebox as maps two. The BP boys will be on attack this time around. St. John's on defense. And if we do need to go to a map three, we will be heading to split with BP on defense and St. John's on the attack. I'm looking forward to what should be two or three maps of very high quality Valorant. Uh, I mean... St. John's, when we were talking about them last week, they uh, well they weren't going to be here. So I wonder how mentally prepared they are for this. They're probably going, well, that's it for the season. We're not done. And then they've gotten a call a few days later going, hang on, boys. If there's been a technicality, gotten the call up. I mean, if they win, it's it's so like a movie script, really. It's like, the oh, you know, you weren't ready. You weren't in it. You're out. You're gone. And all of a sudden, no, you're back in and you're ready to go for round two. Hey, look, it sort of it sort of reminds me of a movie that, you know, I was rewatching with fam the other day, you know, it's like cool runnings, having that little bit of a scuffle in the, in the end, they're like, they're not sure if they're going to be disqualified or they're, they're going to come back in and stuff. It's, Choose it's sort of agent. like similar to that, but you know what, if they're going to come back and they're going to win, it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure Hina, Chopper Steve, Oppo, Koo Koo Poo, and Bingsu is going to be very happy about that. And hopefully they have went back with their team formula because we did see a very great starting uh, point from them. And obviously we with their bridge uh, coming into this uh, playing on Ascent is going to provide a lot of cover. If they do take the B or even the A, um, getting all of that fantastic um, uh, vision blinds coming in uh, from Kugupu will be what determines um, this opening from them on Ascent. And obviously, we've seen Bosley Park. Now, Bosley Park could have been terrible, right? They could have been um, not really getting to their groove from the Greek song before, but now. We're completely into a, a very different ball game, so I'm actually very interested to see how they're going to be able to play today. Has do you have any other insights on the current lineup? I mean, both teams looking uh, fairly solid lineup-wise here. Of course, we've got this. The one attacker over on the attacking side, which I mean, it does make you scratch your head a bit because I mean, attacking, you'd think you've got to maybe have two, but yeah, no, as it is, only the one are there. A couple more, uh, you know. Differences. They want to keep things a bit more, you know, let's get the smokes and stuff down, look for a bit more. Run around, then have the one push in, look for the distractions from there. Anyway, yep, we're ready to start. It's map one, it's round one, the grand finals are underway. Oh yeah, look at this starting. They're opting not to go for a default five stack. And so this is the 4 1 selling it out, and meanwhile, they've already got the plant down, so nice one up there, but at this second, we have really not seen any form of big engagements yet, but Hina already jumped up on top, waiting. Slowly out of position, as SSOPO is going to try to go for the back line. Yeah, so, so we're just waiting for this 5v5 retake. So they've got the numbers to start pushing in. The line there, around the corner, gets the lineup for the two spray down, doesn't quite finish off. The second one there, but still a big chance they're locking them all the way down towards where trying to get the teleport out of the volley. Will kill it. Cool picks up Hina, and this defensive pushing has been great so far. Chopper and Oppo return base. Made that three as Chopper manages to get their second there. Orenda will get the trade out. He's got three in this round so far. 1v2. Bomb is being defused. 
And Oppo cannot do much about that as Windows XP takes him down. And the defensive team gets the job done. The BP boys, they get that first round. And nice retake, 5v5. They allowed that bomb plant to go through. And from there, they did a very nice job of getting back onto the site. Almost brought back there by Chopper Steven Oppo. But in the end, just uh, running out of numbers. And uh, unfortunately, they do drop that first round. And we'll look to just do a bit of an eco here just with pistols. Yeah, it feels like the Orenda had a lot of uh, disrupting power just there. Obviously, he had a molly all the way. He did clutch out a lot of the other players from the back, and Hina wasn't able to respond in time. And Full Killer, with that early marshal, is trying to disable this mid, and already the vision has been taken away from him. This mid is trying to be part of the control. And Hina, that's a nice bang straight into Orenda, and that is a big carry going down really early, disabling that extra charge on Renda because he was one away from an ult. Well, Hina had a pretty good game last week when we were watching in that early pick, so already in a chance here as Windows popping in now towards that mid cubby area. Trying to keep out towards Garden almost as it looks like the rotor's gonna start coming in. Cool killer already down to five HP as well, so put a Hold back on that marshal. They can't really watch to see this transfer across me, which is happening. Now the B side is being run into here. Phone number, man. I'm not going to bother reading that out every single time. Holding on towards this B side is Hina. Oppo holding that side, and he's going to have to try and get one here. It's a lovely knockdown by Breachstone. Chopper Steve will take him down. 5v3. The bomb will be planted. Sheeman. And just come in with one there. And the bomb goes down. 4v3 is now the push starts to come in early here. We know have to do a bit here. He's got the HP. Can he get one? He gets two. Cool Goo will take him down. Chimin pops in again, though. Cool Goo will take him down. And now, Cool Killer, that 5 HP is going to be a deciding factor there. Cool Goo finishes it off. And an immediate response there from St. John's. They take back the round with just the pistols. And 1-1 one, one after 2. And now... Possibly, they're going to have to go to pistols themselves. Uh, maybe a couple of bikes. Looks like Orando will pick up the Vandal. But yeah, mostly... Just pistols across the board, and yeah, well, they're deciding on what they want to do, but it looks like it might just be a full Spectre buy out here from St. John's, rather than immediately progressing to the Assault Rifles. Yeah, currently it feels like, you know, the gun distribution is going to be a quasi. They're looking for Orenda to go and get that early ult, but they are not going to be prepared for this. Five minutes, sack into this B. Winner's XP doesn't get one, but 169 is certainly going to be taken down here. Yeah, double could come through. Cool killer also going down here. The difference in firepower is too great right now. Yes, you do have a vendor, but you're not going to get anything Fight if you don't planted. get that early tap, which means that Chi Man to you right now is just looking to maybe do some form of distraction. Meanwhile, it's waiting for Orenda to clean up the, the crew that wants to make it out of their life. I mean, ultimately, they already only have Spectres, and they are going to be looking to take this round, but it's going to take a lot for them to even do anything at this station. And yeah. That's going to be it for this round, I'm afraid. Uh, St. John's, they got a beautiful 5 stack into this B. And at a second, they're looking at a... Well, just trying to make it out there with all their guns intact. Look, we just beautiful. Get a bonus. Oh! It looks so good. Looked like a good angle, but she meant to you with that. So it's not going to be able to do anything else. And that is going to ensure St. John's Park is going to get the second round up. They're turning this one in reverse. So this is going to be the bonus round that they were working towards. Obviously, they did transition with the Orenda's um, gun being picked up. So they don't really have to do too much. Meanwhile, Bingsu is going to come along with a Vandal to compete. So this is sort of the quasi power that they're going to be able to try to see. If they can win it, they're going to be doing pretty good. If they do lose it, they're still going to be able to rebuy straight up into the next round. And because Oranda lost that rifle, you do wonder if they might have just wanted to save there towards the end of that round rather than look for those exits. So he does still have the Vandal out, but not as much utility and only half armor. Just sort of poking up towards top mid, both areas towards Catwalk and back towards the bottom of mid there, smoked off as I'm sitting towards towards B Lobby and Hina and Chopper Steve. They're going to be getting those early picks and the B side is now wide open already. Cool Killer and Arenda though. Chopper Steve and Bingsu with the trades back. Hina will be able to get one onto Cool Killer. So they still have... The 3v2 advantage, make that 2v2 again, Chairman. So it's just been back and forth so far here. And then trying to run onto the side. The one bomb should go down. Cool boo and Chi Man. No one could quite get that going as Oppo fakes the plant. Now we're gonna see if he can get something to poke in here. The flash though is right. perfect. And Chi Man will pick up their third for the round. Oppo goes down. And two apiece. It is just back and forth at the moment. But 
with those spectres saved over from last round and just having that round where they picked up the extra rifle as well means that they'll still be able to full buy mostly into this one as well here at St. John's. So it's going to be probably them still with the actual advantage economy-wise, even though they did lose that round. Yeah, definitely is. Uh, you know, obviously having everything already ready from his team is ready to go with that ultimate. Yeah, it's so eyes on them because if you have four ultimates way. ready to go, yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as we say it, first one comes up. Oh my goodness. Doesn't get the full confirm. No kill, so no reset. And ultimately denied. All of a sudden, this stack is going to be worse for them. Being so returns with a double, they still do have two ults, but they do need to remember Killjoy is around the corner. Can't lock this one down. This is the retake. You know, probably just uh, kicking himself for whiffing that uh, ult right there. I'm a little bit of a cheeky one, Jussie. And that is the ult we were talking about. Kukuku does finish up Winner's XP, and um, this is the ultimate final one. It's quite smart for Kukuku to even act with that ult, but all of a sudden, it's going to be for one. Orenda! Oh! No Can't way. quite hit the shot there, and Cool Book Goo pulls that one off. There's seventh so far in this first half, and looking very nice here at the moment. St. John's, so it is just back and forth at the moment. They pick up that one, and almost the trade there. Windows, I mean, that was a really smart teleport. The Chi Man trying off that one as well, and they push them well in the end there. They manages to knock them down, and unfortunately just couldn't quite pick it up in the end there. The hold comes through, and now the economy is back in towards St. John's Father as we move into round number six here. Oh. Cool goose. <laughs> That's that one off pretty nicely. Arenda deleted from the server just like that. Cookler has managed to pop ult here with the knives, so looking to see if they push through that smoke. They're just waiting in the corner there. Oh, that's a really nice angle. Can't quite get Cool Goo. And now they're aware of what's going on there. Chi Man will pick up Cool Goo. Chi Man gets two Spike with the down. classic. Good. What is going on? The bomb is down on Catwalk. How does that happen? And they've locked the door as well. Well, the door was locked. Now it has to be reopened. Bing Zoo now. There's two in towards Garden. Not going to expect the second one, Manjani. He is, and Hina does get one. But Windows for two. And another, a third for the round. But Chi Man. How did that happen? Two kills with the classic on short. The right click. <laughs> it's, a, it's too powerful. Uh, yeah, hey, he's definitely way more powerful than what we were expecting just then. And two surprising big kills. And the winner's XP denying the rest for the team. You do not get to retrieve that spike. You do not get to advance to the site. And you don't even get the chance to pick it back up. So a very nice thrifting round for the guys on um, Bosley Park. So now we're three apiece. And this is starting to look like a swing back into um, BP. So mostly Park right now, they have the guns, they have a big operator on Cool Killer. They need to be careful. Hopefully not a thrifty back and this is going to be that default A. They're already here, they're looking for just a little bit of a push up. They want to go in to get at least a spike. And nice, nice utility creator here. Chima to you is blunted and now this is the first one with a six feet. Does get two! And he is going to be shut down, but all of a sudden, this is the side that they can go and plant that spike. Chima to you does walk in and get um, absolutely hammered by Hina. And Hina picks up that gun! Oh, this is the reverse. This is not what was the What a Hina! We're giving a full take! Sees that big operator instantly drifts away and says, uh, Hell no, I don't want to mess with this one. We're going to quickly reposition. You can't jump down. Cool killer just has to run away and absolutely protect that big operator. Can't give this one away because you give this one to Hina. Not only is Hina going to be an absolute bashing power in the beginning, it's going to have that big ultimate that you have to deal with as well. And there's a resurrection. I'm pretty sure Cool Killer already identified that. Says, okay, I don't want anything to do with this. Let's just say, okay, you take this round. Um, let's go again next. So a nice round coming from St. John's Park. Thrifty. And that is another thrifty in reverse. Both teams. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. I mean, at this point, may as well just buy pistols because buying assault rifles clearly does not seem to do anything. Every single round so far, that it's sort of been swung back to that side where, you know, one team's got no economy and has to just go with the pistols, maybe one Spectre. It's working out for them each time. Now we actually have full buys on everyone. So Cool Killer does have the operator, has to give up a bit with that half armor, but everyone else, full guns, full armor, 
The utility is going to be a bit scarcer over to the side of Bosley's, but still, we've got no excuses for this round as we start this one off. And Aranda trying to pop that Phoenix. Oh, it's going to go down. We'll actually get the trades back, though. And then 04 picks up another one to Oppo as well. Now Aranda pushing in through the smoke. Who's might aware this could be happening? Does pick it off. Cool killer, that operator doing work. Bomb is down 4v2. Smoke is just giving them out, and they know Cool Goo's towards this point. As well, he will put down Chinman though, and now Chopper's got Cool Killer, and all of a sudden they're right back into this round. A 2v2 becomes a 3v2 as Oppo gets revived here. And now, when it comes to both side, what they want to do, it looks like they're going to be rotating. There is the waiting here of Window XP, and if they don't check this, this could be very, very deadly, but they've decided they're going back for now. And now they know that there is someone towards this side here. And 04 gets caught off with doing his ult. And now Window. Exactly well, Drew destroys that. And now also the Cypher ult. So they're well aware where Windows is coming from. And this round, they had this Bosley completely covered off. They got all those opening kills. And just like that, 3v1. And Windows, not much he can really do in this situation. It felt like at that one second they could have invested a little bit more. But Windows XP all of a sudden takes out SS Oppo. The spike is still ticking. He can't really find an angle to go in because he can only do so much. He does pull down his ability. Oh, wait a second. Takes down Chopper Steve. But no, he does go down to a 3 kill Kugu Poo. And that is going to be Sun Jones Park taking this one back. So, a, a beautiful spot. For um, Bosley Park, unfortunately, after a little bit of the phase and everything else, they gave out the rest of the round all the way to St. John's, which is quite unfortunate, especially since they had big operator in play, they had everything in place and the angle is locked down and the side wasn't to be taken, but they didn't, didn't really want to do anything else besides just containing, they, they were pretty content. Um, instead of repositioning, which is probably their inactivity which resulted in the loss of that round. Now, cool killer holding fair up here into B main. This is angle. This big zoo takes a second off. They just go walking to mid. He takes it around to that omen smoke. Just had a bit of a gap. And at the spray from cool killer, we'll pick up Bingzu. Can't get chopper though. 4v3, you know, 04. Waiting for this omen in the corner, unfortunately. It's going to only be him coming towards as the rest of St. John's looking to burst on towards B through the B main area. He's going to start hearing this as all three start pushing in. Slow orb as well, meaning that he can't really come in here. And if he can at least hold this angle and take down Cool Goo, he just needs to keep his eyes trained on that. Cool Goo, though, he's not really looking to do much here either. It's a bit of a standoff. Chimman coming in for his spawn. And now, oh, Cool Goo, he's going to walk straight into that cross here. Oh, there's just no one can decide what they want to do here. Who's going to peek around first? And he's coming. Oh, he could get two here. His windows isn't aware. He'll take him down. And if 04 doesn't get this kill here, it's going to be a two spray down for Cool Goo. And he gets it. He's got 13 so far in this first half. Chi Man left in a 1v4. Can't get anything done. Hina will finish them off. Whew. 6 to 3. St. John's with three in a row as they open up our first real buffer of this first map. And unfortunately, there. I mean, 04 goes out, peeking a bit further. Cool Goo goes around the corner just a bit more. Maybe a kill goes somewhere here. It becomes a 3v3, and they can actually retake the site. In the end, Cool Goo takes down both. And unfortunately, here for Bosley, now a sort of a half by ish, if anything. They've got the judge, so, I mean, probably a round win. It's a judge. You can't, you can't knock it. It's just going to decimate everyone. <laughs> he did it right now. He now is going to have that ult bar. Everyone's ulting. Orena gets taken out by Kukupu in revenge. And there is going to be the whole bridge ult utilized. But it hasn't taken the side because of that one blind. One person taking on this. Windows XP finally gets, <laughs> gets taken out by Bisu. And this is going to be the A. And Cool Killer looking at that. Oh! So close. So close to get a little bit of a run fight, but they do get reacted upon. Hina you know, also takes that 169. And Chi Man to you takes that charge. Oh. No more than that. <laughs> I, mean, I was, that was really hoping good. for the 1v4 judge there. That was coming. I, I could just feel it in my bones. Hey, look, you know, they, they tried their best. They picked up the round um, coming from St. John's. They have went past the threshold. It is now 7-3 with a four-round deficit. Um, 
this is the buy phase as well the buy round for both teams and obviously you look at the economy on the side of st john's they are ready to rebuy into the next and the one after um, provided that oppo is not going to be getting too much out of it um, but they are a very rich team they still have res up and they can look to flex this mid play still but it looks like they are going to go for a five minute stack into this a once again to face the she to you Ooh. Oh. Hina was rushing through there, but cool kill completely aware for that one. Chi-Man as well, holding on the side, gets one, come two, comes up the third. Cool remaining. kill, they will get Oppo down. Now Bingsu just left on the site. So they close that door. Carby, not in time though. Windows XP picks them off as the door was halfway down. Caught with your Last pants down there, unfortunately, the Mr. Bingsu. And that is a much needed round there for the fellas over on Bosley. They're fourth. And they stop a streak of four there. Now four to seven. They can pick up another one here. Five to seven on the defense. They wouldn't be too fast with that as both teams. We'll have full buys into this last round. Looking like an operator might have been on the cards there. And it actually is. So he just picked that up. And then it's just Phantoms. For the other three, Cool Goo will pick up a Vandal. Meanwhile, two Vandals for Render and 04. And then it's a, also a Vandal on Windows. G-Man has a, a Phantom, as does Cool Killer. Yeah, this is actually not bad. You know, Pashenko can go to a 5-7 if there's a mistake. Um, and at this second, it feels like there is absolutely no point into uh, going for a fast play once again because obviously Cool Cat did go in with a big kill onto Hina. Massive punishment resulted in the upward drift of that A uh, not being taken and all the utilities was used. And at this second, Cool Killer does have that all placed on ready to go. I mean, Chopper Steve making some form of noise, trying to make a little bit of reaction come out. But Hina takes that 169 in that mid play operator, which means that this is control going over to St. John's. They can do whatever the hell they want right now. And the rest of Boston Park has to respond. Like, they can't just not rotate now. And Orinda does take one down, but Chopper Steve does take him back out. She meant to, he gets blinded upon as well. And there is the rest, comes back into Bingsu. And A is already being taken. The spike ready to spike be planted. planted. And there is still Hina that you have to deal with if you were to come in. Well, they know the Cypher is towards the catwalk side. She picks up Oppo, and so they're going to finish him off. So now, very scary. Well, 4v3 as they're pushing towards the side. Chopper Steve, though, up here towards the balcony. We'll pick up Cool Killer and picks up Windows XP as well. We'll manage to get detained, but Chi Man left in the 1v4 situation. 72 HP, no armor. And now Chopper Steve is out of that one as well. Picks up the 4k for the round. Finishing with 15 on the first half. And 8 for St. John's. 8 to 4 as they move on to the offensive here. I'll be pretty happy with that first half start. Five of the last six rounds there to really extend a bit of a buffer. And now Bosley need to respond well. If they don't get a good start here on the pistol and first couple on the attacking side, they're going to find it really hard to get back into this map. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you, Has Like, what a play. And Chopper Steve so smart. Staying that, um, in that war, that Sage was just there. And then getting the blind, just waiting. Didn't want to go out and shoot blindly. And disabled... <laughs> this able cool killer's ult right there and then out of nowhere also um, taking down chi to you not even having any chance of a retake so really come out of pressure and orenda was gonna go in but all of a sudden does pick up the kill there's the tree coming back in orenda trying to get aggressive burns it down Orenda <laughs> with a 3k, two of those with his Molotov, healing himself, and also picking up a couple of kills. Torgo, though, coming around the back. A. The bomb is down, and all of a sudden, this B site is where the two other attack. What has happened here? <laughs> <laughs> We've got <laughs> Windows at 04 and chilling over towards the B site, and uh, they're checking it out and thinking, oh, this is pretty nice. Unfortunately, they are missing a vital ingredient to win this round, and that's the bomb. So now they have to rotate all the way around. And Oppo and Cool Goop are just sitting on this bomb waiting for them. So, yeah. well, now it comes down to Aim Jewels and well. figuring out the corners. And they hold the ascendancy here, St. John's. They have the angles to hold this. They should be able to hear most of the sound cues coming up. Revealing area. Although, that one might reveal that 
There's possibly one around that call, and Kulgu is on 73 HP, so they're a bit low. Oppo gets blinded early, going to pick that one first. Oppo picks up one. Oppo, he's only got a couple of kills so far in this game, but he's doubled it up. He goes huge in pistol, picks up two there to finish it off, and unfortunately for Bosley and Orenda, the 3k, two with the Molotov, it looks so good, and then Kulgu was just at the back going, oh, you boys want to rotate to B? Nah, it's not happening. It's just not happening. Look, you know, Orenda invited everyone to the good old down on the barbecue, right? In great fashion. <laughs> if I get burned, you're getting burned with me. So it's a nice triple That's kill, fun. but unfortunately, it does get taken down by Kugu, who uh, is last result. So Hina's gonna have that early, Marshall. Right in this mid, you don't really get to do anything, but wait a second. The rest of Bosley Park, they are stacked up, ready to execute this beat. They're just trying to find out where the rest of the stuff is at. And obviously, this is the rotation coming through. SS Oppo shooting in blunt doesn't get anything, does to get damage. And Hina, oh my goodness, does open up a kill onto XP. I'm not sure if that was in blind moment or not, but he does take it and this is the blind coming through. Coming for the cleaning up and everyone is just going down, give it to you. Doesn't get anything, oh man, you gotta feel it. When the big Aries from Chopper Steve is just spraying down on you so that is going to be 10 to 4 and ace nice and easy retake coming in from <laughs> st john's absolutely amazing work yeah no kills there really unfortunately for bosley but they get the bomb plant which is what they're after a bit of extra cash and that blind from cool Goo as they push in the side there st john's absolutely huge i mean half the bosley team could not see a thing as they were set upon by rifles and a few SMGs and also the Aries, because why not? Which is still being used here. Chopper, ooh. They go wandering into A here. That could be very uh, interesting if they want to line up. Just uh, just in a close manner, you know, just get in the line. Let the old Aries do what it can. So if I had to start this round, though, I don't really want to be pushing in too much. Arenda is going to be the first to peek around the corner. Flash out. And the noise being made. And I got the spike. Chopper would be making it aware that, okay, that something might be happening here. The wall... Already broken as well. Now oh. it just comes down to sort of this waiting game here. Is Chopper Steve. The only one Jump's on the over. site is now going to be Not joined dead. by Bingzu. And now the push in here from around the, the all that goes back. The Aries, the Aries. Oh no! Cool killer will take down Chopper. Windows also picks up Cool Goo. And the rifle's doing the work here against the bonus round as Hina looking to see what they can do. Will we be able to get Window XP around up? Also taking a bit of damage for their troubles as well. And now Oppo. He's going up up towards heaven, immediately set a pong as cool killer. Shoots him from underneath, which is always a nice one. And Aranda will finish off Hina. So, Bosley, they strike back, but now we are moving into the first gun round of this second half. And if St. John's get this one under their belts, it's going to be very, very difficult for Bosley to get much done here. 15 to 10. Only three points away from taking this map out, but... They still do have an advantage here, Bosley. If they manage to get this round here, that's really going to put the economy of St. John's in a bit. 6 to 10, and then they'll probably have to save the next round after that. And also, the Ares is out again, so that's always special. <laughs> hey, look, you know, they just probably just uh, give him a little bit of respect there and uh, say that this guy's much better. Right? He's going to take Hina out early on, though, so... That is actually very, very interesting of a play because I'm pretty sure Hina was trying to get a little bit aggressive. Doesn't really get that down, which means that they're going to have to be playing on a deficit. Chopper Steve doesn't have that ult just yet, which means that there's going to be no resurrection. They are going to have to fight this on a deficit. You keep that big area on play, but Widow's XP from the side, the door was not closed. And this is the side for taking. Bingsu is just waiting. Does get the flash out, they are looking for something, there's going to be a one traded, but Bingsu takes the second one, which is okay. At the same time though, it is still two on three. They are going to get that spike coming and uh, planted. planted. But yeah, Bingsu jumps down <laughs> and to his death. <laughs> uh, brave or stupid, I'm not really sure what to put that one after. I mean, you got to make an attempt and Bingsu, the attempt was there, unfortunately the execution not quite going with it. G-Man will finish off. The final player there in Oppo, and well, now 6 to 10. And as I was saying, the economy here for St. John's is just going to be pistols pretty much across the board. A shorty for Bingsu there for a second. He was thinking about it. Now he's maybe thought second best as 
a full line of phantoms. Is the phantoms the good gun now? See, I thought it was the vandal. I'm clearly not up to date with the <laughs> the rifle meta because it's just all over the place at the moment. Yeah, this is the good old phantoms coming out in play. Um, and yeah, it looks like no they are going to have a frenzy out. And this is going to be a little bit of a slow execution. They realize they don't have the economy to play. Oh my goodness. 169 oh. runs into the full team. He takes one out, but... He is going to ultimately go down. That's going to be a gun pick up for them. And they realize that they're not going to be able to get any form of a big play. So they're just looking to maybe get a quick shutdown. So it's actually quite interesting. Very, very interesting. So being sued from you and Chopper Steve. Oh, oh my god. god. Chopper Steve gets that big punish. But he's going to be taken back by Chi Man to you. And at the same time, A is going to be the play. It is 3-3. Three three. There is two ults. Against one killjoy. I mean, which one is going to be the one? Are they going to go for it? Yeah, it looks like that's also going to be Eve Orinda. He's going to find the rest of the team here. Going in, tries to get us. 72 health says, okay, maybe let me just quickly run back and reposition. I don't want to give myself away for free. Meanwhile, the two players at the end. Going to have to push this on a hard way. Um, this, oh, they didn't pick up Windows XP anyway. At the same time, Oppo jumps down. There is the oh, they rolling thunder this into down. hell, but Bingsu, you're not gonna be able to do anything else after that, so that is gonna be a big round. Unfortunately, they don't get the round on defense. Mostly Park is gonna pick it up, but nevertheless, for a round of Yuko, I thought that was amazing. Yeah, the push out from B uh, wasn't a bad idea. I mean, 04238741169. Make sure you give that number a call. I'm sure it's very nice. Uh, they. Unfortunately, just met themselves with a pretty <laughs> terrible fate there. They look around the corner and they see five uh, defensive players running at them. And in the end, it doesn't really amount to much. There's a bit of an economic damage. Only one player surviving there for Bosley. And now we're back to full rifles. Arenda, he's pushing into immediately. But yeah, they're just leaving this B side open here. The Oppo is sort of playing more of that uh, the scouting game there. They're more than happy to allow the bomb to go down and then try and do the 5v5 retake onto B, which is what is going to start happening here. As well, now both teams, Nick. Lots of uh, ultimates available. Also, lots of utility still being unused here as both teams are sort of sitting inside the push. It starts to come in towards the side here. Coolview will pick up one O4 with the trade onto him, though, and Bingsu will pick up Windsor Wave Just trades back and forth as O4 picks up another one there. Top of Steve is right. Chim and Oppo, everyone's just falling back team. down fourth, and now Cool Killer done the rotate around. And Oppo, he is coming alive right now if he holds this. Oh, hold it. Hold it, son. Do it. He gets the half and swings out and gets it. Oppo is absolutely cracked, turning it on. He might have had the least amount of kills on the server, but it doesn't matter how many you get, it's how you get them, and Oppo goes crazy there. Finishing it off, and St. John's, they pick up their 11th, they stop a round, streak of three for Bosley, and they keep that four-round buffer, 11 to seven. Yes, this Bosley still do have a bit of economic advantage here, and they will be able to buy back into this round, but that is a big play from Oppo. I mean, that goes a different direction there. This is a nice spot. We're talking 8-10, and really, their cash would have been absolutely in the dump there for St. John's, but they yes, keep it. They still hold the go. advantage as we get ready for round number 19. Get out of my way! Oh, look at this. The reverse of the old. Let's look which one is going to be the better one. Oh, Killjoy is also going to be reinvesting into this ult here. They are going to go for a big, massive take. Trying their luck at B once again, and Oppo gets a lot of information. They see the full stack. And Hina misses that! Whips the absolute shot. Orenda is gonna take down Hina. No place for you. Kugupu also goes in that exchange. No one's taking it back until now, and what a disaster! That from St. John's, Bosley Park, he's gonna run away with this big round. They get everything for free. Yep, Orenda just <laughs> rushing straight through the smoke, and I think that Hina was just so surprised that he was actually there, misses the knives. And then Aranda picking up three for that round. They're on 22 kills now. Been looking very nice so far on map number one. But this is where things are starting to take. You can just feel the momentum has sort of shifted towards the Bosley guys. And if they keep this up, they're really looking in a good stress. They should have this round in the bag. I say should because we've had a couple of pistol rounds that definitely have not gone to... Well, there you go. Hina gets the first pick on Aranda. Every time you think, oh, you know, it's a pistols versus rifles. Pistols should win. Every time. If something like this starts to happen, Google also spawning a few out there towards all that B site. 
I think he's maybe spotted all three in that regard. So he's just going to fall back. As the mid link's just sort of being held here. And now they're down a player. They do have... They've got the rifles here. So they can take their time. They don't want to be rushing in and lose another couple of players. And really put themselves in jeopardy. As it's just going to be a sort of standoff in the 5v4. Hina's poking it towards mid. Smoke goes down. They're going to get stuck anyway. And now they're thinking about the push possibly towards here. But look when the bomb's going to go up towards catwalk. Yeah, oh, here we go. This could be big for Chopper Steve. If he can get this right now, that will be huge. But it looks like they are going to quickly um, retreat. They're saying, okay, we don't want anything to do with Catwalk. They want to get stuck in that one-way uh, passage where most of us has gone down, has some bad experience. And this is going to be the push towards B. You see the blunt being thrown out by Eggwinner's XP. Uh, and I thought, oh, wow, here we go. Oppo, that's left. Cypher. It's always providing so much information for the rest of his team. This is going to be the response. It's going to be a full collapse. They're just waiting right now. They have Rolling Thunder. They have a rest. They can bait this one if they um, play it slowly. So here we go. That's the one. And, and the, the push is going in. They need to get close with these pistols. We get this damage through. But cool kill. 4 window. Oh, shutting it down. 4 with his second. And now Chopper Steve. They do have a Phantom. But they need to find all four. There still is a bit of time. They could try the revive, but you would feel like it's better to save that for another round. And this eco. They got the first one. Chopper, though. That's two. He's still got a chance into this seize. He run. The sentry there, unfortunately, is going to mean that he's got to sort of stop for a bit. Waiting in the corner as well. They see Windows, unfortunately, cannot finish it off. And, well, 9 to 11. Another two in a row here. It's been five rounds to three, and that advantage down to two. You can just feel it starting to sort of swing to Bosley here. They have a chance to really make St. John start to sweat. This is the gun round here. If they get this one, St. John's, again, they're going to be pretty poor going into the next round after this if they put this one down, and then 10-11 might become 11-11. Could become 13-11. The swing could be in full effect. As we get ready for round number 21. Okay, here we go. We do have the war up at A. They don't want to get a 5 stack, but they're hearing a lot of firepower. So this is the full rotation. And Chopper Steve is here. They're waiting. Bingsu does have that flash point waiting. As soon as anyone decides to go clutch. Now, Orenda does have that runner back. Can go for the ult. Um, just waiting for a little bit of utility, baiting out a little bit of rotation. Now, you see Hina, he has gone back to mid, doesn't see anything just yet. And obviously, if you are Oppo, you're doing some extra overtime, setting up all your listening and your trap wires. Doesn't see anything on B just yet. So they know this is still pretty much an A game at this stage. And you see Oppo just checking the camera, just waiting. Hasn't seen anything just yet. And at the same time, you know, all the players... Look at this, they're just waiting for the timer. <laughs> Who they're cracks the first? Oh, That's the what we've got here. Who cracks first? It's going to be Bosley, the ones to rush in. But this site is fully, completely covered by everyone here. Bingzu and Kulgu get one, but Windows with a trade back. He gets two of his own. Back up from the top, Kulgu cannot take down Arenda. Now a 3v2. The retake with just two and Hina. The rifle as well, so this is going to make it more difficult. Oppo. We'll be able to find where Last the attackers are standing. high. I need Windows XP. You can't do much for that info when you're dead, he's saying. And now Hina is revealed as well. The operator is most likely going to be saved. Trying to make a run for it. Unfortunately, Windows is well aware where Hina is trying to make off to. Finishes them off 10 to 11. And now it's getting, we're getting to sort of worst case scenario here for St. John's economy. In the dumps again, it's just going to be pistols, possibly maybe a Spectre buy on the board. But yeah, it looks like pistols and armor, a bit of util. And now look at that bank there for the side of Bosley. They can basically buy for most of the, for the rest of this first, for this second half, you'd imagine, if they even need the rest of this second half. As they're still down by one, but they're starting to gain the ascendancy. Three on the trot, six of the last seven. St. John's need to respond here, Em. Oh, yeah. St. John's definitely need to make a thrifty out. Oh, my Ooh. God. Em. Oh, yeah. Hina being so annoying to them every time. They are really trying to bait it out. 2 for one They'll take that any day. Bisu is also at the mid, baiting up and back out of Hina. Hina quickly runs away. And all of a sudden, you have four versus two. And they're still resting play. They can absolutely make another play to get Google Poo back. Baiting cool killer, cool killer. 
Does dodge the blood, just has to be careful. Bing slowed down, knows that there's players here. And they're trying to deny, sees where Bing Sui is. But ultimately, they're all stuck. They know where the spike is. They, they can't do anything. They have to actually just try to find, uh, play cat, um, cat and mouse. And the rest of St. John's is being super smart. They're saying, well, okay, you come to us. We don't have to come to you. Look at this. Oh, that's the thing. So I don't know if they actually spotted that the bomb went down. I'm assuming they did. I, I think Oppo was the one that did. So he knows the bomb's spike. there. Spike has been picked up, but 33 seconds. Watch them teleports away, and they're trying it left. here. Oh, that's going to be, unfortunately, not going to go through. And now they know the bomb has to go towards this B side. There's really no time. Cool killer. Needs to make a bit of noise. Oh, they're going to try it. 19 oh. seconds. They might. Okay, well, Hina can shut this down. How Hina got away from the first one, I have absolutely no idea. Doesn't quite manage to land that headshot. But does running. get that there. Cool. Killer goes down. Hina is popping off. And now Windows just has to plant this bomb. If he gets pushed, it's completely over here. He will get it down Spike just in time. And he will pick up cover Steve Blow now. And Bingzu jumping down for that trade gets it done. And they respond, St. John's. We said that they needed to, and they get it done with just the pistols, and now have two map points to take a 1-0 lead in this series, and unfortunately there for Bosley, they've done match so point. well in the second half, but a little mistake like that round, and it might just all be over here. They still have plenty of cash, 9,000 on a render and windows to still Need bind to this round, and Thanks. Unfortunately, a few, well, I was going to say a few are a bit low over towards the St. John side, but I mean, Hina's still got that operator out, so they're investing heavily. They want to finish it right here, right now. There's only going to be one round after this, and Need a few drop. of them should be able to buy up for the next one. Thanks. So two gun rounds to follow on two gun rounds. Here it is, Ed. This could be our last one of the f first map here. Yeah, it really does. And if, it's always Hina, right? Every time we <laughs> doubt ourselves, Hina just comes out. Hey, it's like, hey, guys, I have a pistol in your hand. I'm ready to take this mid in control, right? I so, do not understand how he survived uh, getting out of mid there. He actually got out. One of his teammates died. Don't even ask me how that happened, but Hina just, <laughs> they just know what to do. Yeah, Hina is so good at controlling this mid, but let's not jinx it. We know 6P is here to buy that time. They haven't lost anyone just here, and this is going to be a push onto this day, trying to find some form of footing. And Hina being blinded here does know that there is some form of play. Winner 6P being flushed away. Oh, and he is going to get taken down, but Oppo does go down in exchange with Orenda. Now, this could be a fake into B, but it looks like Orenda is going to quickly re rotate. Just currently get a little bit of scouting information doesn't want catwalk to be a nice form of entrance while they still this v play Hina here already knows exactly what he needs to do but being so finds orenda and that is a little bit of a disaster so he's gonna be the trade back by trouble steve he can't take and push trouble steve he's gonna left. quickly just resurrect me oh standing. never mind trouble Spike steve will just carry him. who cares right and this is the ult the final play and Google who Defenders is going to be the one to take it and, and out of nowhere St. John's Pike they get the swing back and it is going to be 13 to 10 a beautiful beautiful opening coming from St. John's Park has what do you have to say come on yeah St. John's full credit where it's due there they looked like they were sort of down and out coming into the end of that second half there they dropped six of the seven rounds towards that back end when they had that opportunity to sort of close it down earlier but they responded when they needed to. A big win on that eco pistol round. And then on that gun round there to finish it off. They were just solid. They kept the sights looking pretty neat. Had to hold their angle as well. And they got the trades where they needed to. And it was just really solid there from them. Bosley, unfortunately, they just took the bomb to the wrong site in the end there. If they got into A, it was pretty much sitting open. But unfortunately, they don't have the courtesy of being able to see everything that we can. So it does mm. make it a bit more difficult. But yeah. yeah. St. John's, they get that first map. And they were looking very nice doing it, I must have to say. So they do take a 1-0 lead in this best of three series. And Arenda was sort of a big reason that I would say that they uh, almost got the job done there for Bosley. He went 25 and 17. Chopper Steve, the man who was on the airs for a lot of that time, he went 23 for the Saints. John boys, window X peeping up 21, as did Cool Goo Poo. Hina got 16, 18 to Bingzu. Chi Man 17, 14 to Cool Killer, 04. And I'm not going to count. As I say, I'm not going to read it. That's possibly one of the greatest names ever, but I'm not reading it. <laughs> well, Nine kills and Oppo. Well, he was more the tactician, as you know, you're going to be a cypher. You're not there for the kills. You did get eight. 
But uh, one of those rounds, one of those with a few of those kills got him a whole round there. So I have yeah. to say he did pretty well in the end. As uh, well, we're going to be moving on to map number two shortly. But Amp, first we need to uh, we have some sponsors to thank. I believe we do. We do. Thank you very much for putting that into my attention, has and obviously, guys. We do give another massive shout out to our sponsors from Torrens University Australia, Optus and MSI. And of course, you need to go and you roll and check out their game design, game programming, 3D design, animation, and graphic and communication design courses. And as well as PAX VIP experience competition, guys. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Make sure to go and check it out because our sponsor, Billy uh, Blue College of Design at Torrens University Australia, has also got us a competition with PAX, which means that you could win a PAX VIP experience for two in an online session with a professional league of legends player or streamer from legacy esports team and not all you have bad, to do not bad yeah. at all exactly. also just so you know guys i will be putting the link for that one into the twitch <laughs> chat so you guys will see that a, few, a bit after us i believe but that's right yeah it should be there right now uh <laughs> and so make sure you click on that get it filled out and as Emp was saying yeah i might either meet a nice league of legends player or a legacy esports streamer which i highly recommend to do either because i mean it's mm -hmm. packs VIP, I mean, what else could you ask for, honestly? Exactly. I mean, come on, it's a free PAX, uh, like, entrance. I mean, come on, you get to go to PAX and just have fun. Who doesn't want to go in and check everything out? Go and play Katan, go and play D&D, go and just have a good time. Walk around, you know, it's a great gaming convention. Unless you're like me, sucking up in New South Wales and absolutely stuck at home. That's what you need to do. So, guys, thank you guys so much. We are going to cut into a quick break, and we'll be right back for map two, which is going to be Icebox. 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 <laughs> That's the one, that's the one. We, and the we one. love Icebox here. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you get in for that Pax one, guys, because me and Amp, we've already put in 50 forms between us. So if you exactly. want, you got to get in quick, otherwise we're going to be stealing that experience from you. And you don't want to be, you don't want to be saying that. Exactly. You just can't. That's right. That's right. Exactly, Has. So yeah, we're going to quickly cut into a BRB and we'll be right back with the second map on Icebox. My mouth was trying to stop me from saying the map. 